Hello lovely booktubers, I'm Debs and this is my channel, Raina Read Stuff. Welcome or welcome back. Um, I am here for the third time, uh, well it's the third time for me, I am going to space these videos out. So this should go up on Wednesday, May the 15th. And that is midway through March, which means I'm thinking about June already. This is an announcement video for a new event that has been put together, I'm going to say this twice, by Mark at Book Time with Elvis and Steve Donahue, and by Steve Donahue and by Mark at Book Time with Elvis. They're arguing over who should go first, so I thought I'd do it twice. Um, and a load of other co-hosts, including me. And it is summer of sport. We are building up to the Olympics, lovely people. I'll probably take two weeks doing nothing other than watch the Olympics this year. But this summer, why not read some sport? And it can be anything. It can be biographies, it can be factual books, it can be fiction, it can be children's books. Um, Recently, I did a tag video when I said I preferred to read arts biographies than sports biographies. But, a leopard can change its spots, or can it? Anyway, I have a pile of possibilities here that cover all sorts of things. So let's start with the largest one, because then it goes on the bottom of the when I start repiling them. Uh, this is more than a game. Now, it sounds as though it's about football, but when you see the cover photo, it's obviously not. This is by Jan Stradling, and it is a history book that looks at when sport has had some sort of historical um, impact. So in here, we have several different chapters. Uh, Pride and Prejudice is the first chapter, and that starts with the, uh, it's called the First Eleven, and it's an Aboriginal cricket team in Australia, the first Aboriginal cricket team. Um, that came to England in 1868. Um, we also have in there Jesse Owens at the 1936 Olympics in, in Germany where Adolf Hitler was trying to preach Aryan supremacy and a black American was winning four gold medals. Uh, we have part two is waving the flag, and we have ping pong diplomacy, the poisoned pawn, which is about chess, um, the springbok versus the all blacks, the hand of God in that infamous Argentina, England match in the 1986 World Cup. We have football and bullets. Uh, we have gender and sport. So there we have Emily Davison and D uh, Derby Day. Um, we also have Billie Jean King. Um, and then part five is an unsporting advantage. And we have the Bodyline series, Cricket England v Australia uh, in 1932, we have underhand tactics, Australia v New Zealand, um, and the drug scandal at the Seoul Olympics. So that looks like good fun. It's highly il illustrated and very general. This looks good. Land of Second Chances. The Impossible Rise of Rwanda's Cycling Team. It's by Tim Lewis 
and it says, Meet Adrian Nyan Shitty, a member of the Rwandan cycling team. Adrian was seven years old when he lost his family in the 1994 genocide that tore Rwanda apart. Almost 20 years later, he had a shot at representing his country at the Olympics. This is a soccer war by Richard Kapuscinski. Um, Kapuscinski was a Polish, uh, his Polish was a Polish um, journalist. He's been around the world covering all sorts of things. Not all of these stories in here are about sport, but a couple are. And that's the same with this. The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner by Alan Silito. Uh, he's a Nottingham author. I live in Nottingham. It's a book of short stories, one of which is The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. Um, the rest aren't sporting, but this sounds like fun. One of my favourite authors is P.G. Woodhouse, and P.G. Woodhouse just loves a good golf story. So, The Heart of the Goof by P.G. Woodhouse. Um, a goof is one of those unfortunate beings who have permitted golf to eat into their soul, like some malignant growth. For golf is the great mystery. It bestows its favours with what would appear an almost fat-headed lack of method and discrimination. I love P.G. Woodhouse. I also found on my shelves this, Featherweight. And this is about... A bare knuckle boxer. Again, it's fishing. It's fishing. Fiction is what I'm trying to say. Fiction. Then I have some factual books. Might not look factual, but it is. Penguin stopped play. This is. <laughs> this is a book about. A cricket team playing cricket in a variety of ridiculous locations. I'm not a big cricket lover. I don't understand cricket. A sports editor once tried to explain the rules of cricket to me, and I completely lost interest when he started talking about winning draws and losing draws, because that's just ridiculous. I can understand a draw, that I get. A winning draw and a losing draw, I don't get that. I don't want to get that. But I will read that. Then I've got some... Uh, I didn't want to go all women's sport. Because... Uh, eh, I love women's sport. But I have got this. This is called The Savage Mountain. And... No, it's not. It's called Savage Summit. It's by Jennifer Jordan. And this is about the Savage Mountain, which is K2, which is not as tall as Everest, uh, but is apparently an unbelievably difficult climb. So it's far more dangerous, and this is about six women who scaled K2. I mean, it says here, 90 women have scaled Everest, but of the six women who reached the summit of K2, three lost their lives on the way back down, and two have since died on other climbs. Um, that's not a good record. Jennifer Jordan apparently lived at the base of K2 while she was writing and researching this. But uh, I think mountaineering counts as sport. And this one... Gordon Bennett and the First Yacht Race Across the Atlantic by Sam Jefferson. This looks good. Um, we're in 1866. And uh, the ship, the, uh, the yacht, the Henrietta, and two other yachts are racing out of New York Harbour. And they are bound for England on the whim of gentlemen's honour death or glory. 
I've got a few more coming as well, only the uh, online bookshop, the second-hand shop that I ordered them from sent, rather than send the two sports books I, I ordered, sent two Stephen King and a Susan Hill book instead, which, mm, not the same. Um, but I've ordered Touching the Void and also a book called My Father and Other Working Class Football Heroes. Hopefully they'll come. Who knows? I've contacted them and said, Oi, I don't want Stephen King. I want some sports books. Uh, but there's plenty for me to be getting on with. The event doesn't have any prompts. I will put the details of all the hosts and co-hosts below. Uh, basically, spend a couple of months between June and August reading some sports books. It could be baseball. Ball, it could be table tennis, it could be snooker, it could be kayaking, it could be long distance running, cycling, you name it, whatever you, you fancy, give it a go, it'll be fun. Thanks for watching, let me know if you're going to join in, um, if you've got any other suggestions for books that I might like, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for popping by. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.